In this video, I want to describe a class of graphs called outer planar graphs. An outer planar graph, so a graph G is outer planar, if and only if it can be embedded in the plane, so remember embedding means that none of the edges cross, embedded in the plane such that every vertex is on the boundary of the infinite face. Okay, so let's see a couple of examples of this. So here are these two different graphs in green are both examples of outer planar graphs. So here you've got six vertices, right? And all of them sort of touch the infinite face, if you want. Um, <clears throat> there are no sort of vertices trapped on the inside of a face. And similarly here, right, this one's a bit more complicated, but you can see, right, every single one of these vertices is touching this infinite face, this whiteness around the graph. Okay, so this property, I mean, it doesn't actually have to be the infinite face. It could really be any face, um, but we may as well say the infinite face. So this property that all the vertices um, lie on the boundary of a common face, that idea is outer planarity, right? Of course, we want to stay planar as well, right? So no edge crossings. Okay, so let's just explore this uh, a little bit. So are the following graphs outer planar? So let's just start with this one. <clears throat> So obviously this is not an outer planar embedding because this vertex on the inside doesn't touch the infinite face. <clears throat> so an operative word up here is can, right? It can be embedded, not that it is. Okay, so you might want to think about whether or not this can be embedded in such a way um, such that every vertex is on the infinite face. So it turns out this one can, right? So <clears throat> this graph is isomorphic to this, right? You can imagine just sort of like flipping this up uh, and putting it on top. And now every vertex is on the infinite face. Okay, so in this case, yes, right? Here is the outer planar embedding. So usually if you're asked if a graph is planar or if a graph is outer planar, um, the answer is either no with an explanation of why not, or yes, and here is an outer planar embedding, or here is a planar embedding, depending on the problem. Okay, so let's look at another one. What about this guy? <clears throat> so is this outer planar? Okay, again, it's obviously no, this is not an outer planar embedding. It's got edge crossings. So let's maybe try and see if we can get rid of those edge crossings and see if we can clear up our picture a little bit. So here I've got this piece and then I'm going to take this piece so that's this piece and then this piece I'm just going to sort of stretch it out or maybe I'll flip it over to the other side actually. Right so if I imagine like flipping this across now we've gotten rid of our edge crossings right but we've still got a vertex trapped on the inside. So the question is right Okay, yes, this is planar, but is it outer planar? Is there a way that we can draw this such that this vertex um, can be touching the infinite face and the, as well as every other vertex? So you might want to think about that for a second and play around with it. It turns out here the answer is no. Um, no, you can't. This graph there has some intrinsic property, right, that sort of um, prevents it from being outer planar. So what we're going to be doing in the next video is talking about an excluded minor result for outer planarity. So hopefully you read in the textbook about Wagner's theorem, um, which says the excluded minors for being planar are K5 and K33. Meaning, if you have a graph that doesn't have K5 or K33 as a minor, then it's definitely planar. And if you have a graph that does have K33 or K5 as a minor, then it's definitely not planar. So that gives you a sort of quick test for determining whether something um, is planar or not. And it gives you a way to justify um, when it's not planar. So the question is, right, how do you know a graph is outer planar or that it's not outer planar more specifically? Right, if, you, if it is outer planar, If it is outer planar, we can find a picture like this, and the proof by picture is fine, right? Like, oh, yes, it is. We can draw it like this, see? 
Okay, but when it's not, you need some sort of leverage, some sort of way to explain your reasoning, right? I mean, hopefully we can all look at this and be like, okay, yes, there's no way for me to draw this. It's a pretty small graph. It's pretty simple. But how can you explain to someone why? Like, what is your thought process, right? Like, how can you um, sort of justify this rigorously? And so to do that, we need a, a result, uh, and it's going to end up being an excluded minor result. So it turns out... Um, a graph is outer planar if and only if it doesn't have a certain couple of graphs as minors, just like Wagner's theorem for planarity. So we need to find the graphs that play the role of K5 and K33 for outer planarity, right? So a graph is not planar if it doesn't have K5 and it doesn't have K33 as a minor, or rather it is planar if it doesn't have those as a minor. Um, and we want to find the analogous graphs for outer planarity. So we'll be doing that in the next video.